What's up guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be making a quick video on how to live stream with your Canon EOS R. It'll work with the RP as well. Um, it's a free way, you don't have to use any of the uh, USB to HDMI dongles that you have to buy to get it to your OBS or to any other streaming services. This is a way to where you plug it into your computer and you are good to go. Um, the original video to where I've seen this I will link it below. This guy explains it as well, but I'm going to explain it um, to help my people out that watch me that have Canon cameras. But his link will be down below. Um, I got it from him. I just want people that are subscribed to me to know about this idea. So the first thing you have to do, it's real simple. Um, this will help. It works with Zoom. It works with OBS. Those are the only two programs that I tried it on. I think it works with everything though. You don't as long as you're, you know, it pretty much turns your camera into a webcam. So it'll work on Zoom, OBS, or any other streaming services out there. Um, so I'm gonna show you real quick on how to do that, the steps on how to do it. So let's get started on that. So all you have to do is USB-C by USB-C. You know the Canon EOS R has a USB-C uh, slot on the camera. You plug that in plug it into your computer, turn it on, and you open up a program that's called Camera Live. And then as you can see, it's activated. It recognizes the Canon, and then you have to open after that. Um, the links to these programs will be down in the description so you can just download them. Um, so it'll say active, you click on it. Then you go to a program called Cam Twist, which is also in the description. You click on Siphon, you hit select, and you make sure your siphon server, you don't mess with that. You don't mess with that at all. Then, literally after that, all you have to do, um, I turn my camera on, it's on. Let me make it to where I could see it. Okay, so make sure y'all don't see my room. All y'all see is me. My stomach is what y'all are gonna see. So now I'll go to OBS. See, there you go, it's already on, as you could see. So you guys could see, you know, me. Um, and then, you know, it works just like high quality Canon camera. So I'm gonna cover it up for now. The way I did that on OBS, the, what you have to do on OBS is you hit, you know, you, you know, you create a scene. Most of you guys, if you know how to use OBS, it's, it's simple. You hit the plus sign, you gotta hit siphon client. Once you do that, you hit okay. And then you hit this, and then you hit camera live Canon EOS. And then you hit okay. And then since I have it set to 1080p, bam, and then now you are good. But now I have two of them because I already had one, but you could always just drag it and you are good to go. So that's how you do it. One thing I will mention about live streaming with your Canon EOS R is whenever you do that, the audio will not work. All it does is the video, so you're going to have to use a device and plug into your computer. The way I do it is I run the USB-C by USB-C to the camera and then I run a little audio device, USB-C to my computer, to my wireless lapel microphone, which is now on top of the camera. And then I have audio that way. Um, if you use OBS or Zoom, you will know how to, you know, just select, you know, which device you're using. Um, but it, USB-C does not have audio. It only has, it only does the video which is still good um, because either way you were getting audio some way. One way to do it is with a shotgun microphone, but you would have to get a USB-C thing, plug it into your computer, and then you're good to go. Or a, a lab microphone. Anyways, I just wanted to bring that out there. It's, uh, it don't do audio, but it does do video, and it does a very good job at video, very high quality. Um, I shot some live streams with my wife, and daughters when they were making slime and the video looked phenomenal and my daughter had a lapel microphone on so it sound great it's all synced up perfectly in time OBS handled everything well the bit rate was high everything was amazing so I would highly recommend you doing this if you don't want to spend hundred dollars on a USB-C by uh, HDMI cable uh, adapter so you can live stream so with saying that thanks for watching and leave a like if you enjoyed this video, if it helped you out. Leave a comment if you did these steps and it worked for you. I know it does work, it's, it's very easy. If you have any questions or need any help, 
um, leave those in the comments as well. I will help you if you need any help. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next video.